Most of everything that you said is wrong, and I'm gonna prove it right now. So some of you might remember the video I did several months ago about Scott Mendelson, the powerlifter who gives retarded ass diet advice. Well, he made a video response to me, which I will link in the description down below, and I encourage you all watch because it's funny as hell without any of my own input. And, of course, as usual, I'm going to rebut all of his stupid ass claims point by point. So prepare yourself for... Vegan Gains versus Scott Mendelson. The first thing you did was attack my physique. My physique is per for my job. To bench press properly, you need a big belly. <laughs> to bench press properly, you need a big belly. Scott Mendelson. Yeah, that's nice that having a huge gut helps with your bench press, but some of us want to live long, and that's kind of why I made that video in the first place, to tell people not to follow your diet advice if they want to live long. Are you out of your mind? The whole idea is to eat a protein that burns quickly, and fish happens to burn very fast, okay? You know, you talk about women with breast cancer, the best omega-3s that they can get anywhere is from what? Meat. Okay, I have no idea what you mean by fish burning up quickly. Do you mean it digests quickly? And I don't understand how quick digestion makes a food healthy. Uh, pure sugar digests quickly, but you wouldn't consider that a health food. You also went full retard by suggesting the best source of omega-3s for women with cancer is fish. Uh, fish happens to be the highest dietary concentration of methionine, which causes oxidative stress, inflammation, reduces lifespan, and directly feeds cancer cells. Fish are also contaminated with mercury and other pollutants that disrupt our endocrine system, and the consumption of dark fish like salmon are associated with atrial fibrillation. And the pollutants that I just mentioned are likely responsible for this. Marine pollutants are also a risk factor for type 2 diabetes, and prenatal exposure to mercury reduces brain size. Did your mother eat a lot of fish, Scott? You know, back in the day, everybody promoted fruit as so good for you and all this and that. More people have gone diabetic from that than you could ever imagine. More people have gone diabetic from eating fruit than you could possibly imagine. Scott Mendelson. Yeah, your mother definitely ate a lot of fish. And according to the Epic Panacea study, fruit consumption was not associated with type 2 diabetes risk, but in the Epic Panacea study and many other studies, meat consumption is very highly correlated with weight gain and risk of type 2 diabetes. So literally the exact opposite of what you claim is true. And how do you expect a diabetic to cope with sugar? No matter what kind of sugar it is, once you metabolize it, your pancreas produces insulin. And again, Scott, when we actually look at the research, we see that fruit consumption has no negative effects on glycemic control and weight management in diabetic subjects, and you still don't seem to realize that meat is highly insulinogenic, which might explain why we see meat and high-protein diets very highly correlate with weight gain. And the bottom line is, sugar turns into what? Fat! But see, you wouldn't know that because you're like 74 pounds clothed. And then you claim the sugar and fruit turns to fat, and then you call me skinny. Like, yeah, um, so why don't I look like you? Uh, are you just eating more fruit than I am? Meat. And every time I mention meat, you cringe like a little fucking pussy that got kicked in the vagina. The bottom line is, and studies have shown this, 80% of all vegans are women, which is fine. And I'm not saying anything derogatory about that. Veganism is an emotional response. Because why? Because the animals are being killed, and I get it. But when it comes to survival, it's a whole different ballgame. Okay, so you're saying that I'm in a group which the majority of the members are females, which would make me a rare commodity and far more sought after. I don't see how that could possibly be a point of criticism. You're also playing that bullshit meat is manly game. I don't see what's manly about ignoring suffering and injustice. Are the people at the Yulin Dog Festival manly because they don't give a fuck about the suffering and murder of animals? You know most murderers and serial killers are men, so I guess being a violent psychopath makes you more manly, right? You see how every argument you make is just fucking retarded? Mm -hmm. 
I also don't see how you could be accusing me of making illogical emotional arguments when I use medical research to support my claims, whereas you do not. And are you really trying to tell me that you have no emotional reasons for eating meat? You just claim that meat eating is part of our survival. Is it really a matter of life and death that you pick up meat from the grocery store? You eat meat for entirely emotional reasons. You're used to eating it, you like the taste, and you're a victim of social engineering that has made idiots like you equate meat to manliness, and you have these stupid delusional survival fantasies. There's a 2015 study from the Dietary Advisory Committee that says that eggs and meat don't raise your fucking cholesterol. Well, I tried looking up this supposed study, but all I found was an article from eggfarmers.ca about the Dietary Advisory Committee suggesting new government dietary recommendations. And of course, this is all based on recent junk research that is by design incapable of finding a link between dietary saturated fat and cholesterol and serum cholesterol levels, as these are all population studies that did not calculate cholesterol levels at baseline. If we look at metabolic ward experiments or intervention studies that do calculate cholesterol levels at baseline, we can very clearly see that dietary cholesterol and saturated fat does have an effect on serum cholesterol levels. You're just referencing junk data that is put out by the meat, dairy, and egg industries that is meant to confuse idiots like you about the health consequences of these foods so that you keep buying their products. So just to let you know, dumb fuck, I'll give you a week of free sessions and dietary advice right here at Next Level Training. Um, not interested. You know, I, I believe in helping in, in educating the world. I believe in helping and educating the world. Scott Mendelson. Beef. What a relief. When will this poisonous product cease? This is another public service announcement. You can believe it or you can doubt it. Let us begin now with the cow. The way it gets to your plate and how.